Hi Floss Two. This is Amy. I'm Amy. I love toads. This is a floss tube channel and it's about cross stitch. Today is I think it's February the 3rd, 2020. And I think this might be floss tube 44. That's what my notes say. Um let's see here. I'm not very organized. I told my husband to stay outside for about 40 minutes. He said he will try. So he may come in. <laughs> and I got dogs. Got a dog right here. And two dogs right here. So you might hear them. Um, I am going to show you my Whipco board first. Here's my Whipco board. Oh, and speaking of Whipco, Jesse Marie her baby Thor is having surgery, I believe, right now. So I'm thinking about you, Jesse, and Thor, and your husband. Um, this is our Whipco board. It's like bingo, where we write our um, our whips or whatever else we want to do. So I think some people have starts on there. So January, that one and that one were called, and I worked on them. And I will show you the second half of my Cardinals, what I worked on, but February 3 and 23 got called. So, and I switched it a little bit. I cheated. Um, and number three was the same thing that got, got called for January. So I didn't want to work on the same thing again. I wanted to switch. So I switched it to a more February Valentine sort of thing, which I'll show you because I've worked on that a little bit already, even though it's only February 3rd. I worked on it a tiny bit yesterday. And then I will show you what got called for the 23rd, which I have not worked on, and I won't work on that probably till February 15th because I'm splitting it up. Since two numbers get called a month, I'm working on two things a month or concentrating on two things a month, and I'm splitting them. So the first half of the month, I'll work on one. The second half of the month, I'll work on the other one. Also, I'm doing some, what do you call it? Model stitching. I'm working on, well, I have three model stitches in my possession. I'm working on the first one and I'm almost done with that one. So most of my stitching has been model stitching that I cannot show you. So I didn't get as much done. Oh, please, FedEx is out there. I will cut this out. FedEx is still out there, but they stopped barking. They're not at my house, they're across the street. But I let them bark because they live for FedEx and UPS. It's like the highlight of their day. They're sleeping all day and they can hear their engines and then the I just let them have their their party. So they might start barking again and I'll cut that out. So my Cardinals, this is what I worked on the second half of January for Whipco. This is my crossed wing collection, Redbirds and Raspberries. I'm doing it on a mystery linen a mystery count, which I was thinking it was 32, but I think it might be 28 because it's kind of big, but that, let's see if I can get it down further. That is where I'm at. Um, oh, and if I have a picture of my before, I will put it in. Let's see if I can get it to the side so you can get a double, double shot of what it looked like then and what it looks like now. I worked a lot on the leaves and the branches. I wanna to get to that female cardinal so bad, but I figure if I do her, then I'm not gonna to wanna to do the boring leaves. So, But the leaves look good. I love how they look. They're beautiful. And there's the crazy, there's the crazy guy that speeds through our neighborhood every day to go to work and come back from work. We live in a residential area. He also, no, I'm not even gonna say it. 
Okay, so that is, I can still hear him. Um, so that's going away for a while and I'm kind of sad that's going away for a while because I absolutely fell in love with it again. But I do have it on my Whipco board again. And this is the one that got called again for November, but I was like, no, I want to work on, I want to get some more work on done done on other things. So, um, yep, she's going away. Maybe she'll come out in March. Oh, and we're putting away as we go. So, whip go for the first of February. I am working on Need to think uh, I have these in order, but I don't. Okay. Love by Heartstring Samplery. I don't think I have a progress picture on this, but if I do, I'll put it in. But when I started, I had line one and two done and yesterday I got line three done. And see how many words are left? A lot. I do not believe this is going to fit on my fabric, and if it doesn't, I'm just gonna add another piece of fabric at the bottom and keep going. And that's where I'm at. I'll bring it back a little in case I had it before. This is 36, I believe it's Tyco from Picture This Plus. And the floss is a color in cotton that I got a long time ago called Winter Sea. So, you know, Valentine's Day, love, and look at my little needle minder. Love. That reminds me of my husband and I. So that will be worked on until Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day, I'll talk about that. I'll talk about, about that in plans. Okay, the end of February or the last part of February, so probably on the 15th for Whitco, this one got called, which is my Boots, Flowers, and Snails. It's a Russian designer or Ukraine. I got it from my bobbin.com. I've only done a teeny tiny bit on it. I've only worked on it once. You can't even tell what it is. This is a color in cotton called Desert Taupe. I think it's a 32. I had to do a 32 because there are blends. So, I probably will not do a floss tube before the 15th so because I try to do it maybe twice a month so I might start this before I see y'all again or you see me again so that's why I'm showing you that one okay uh what next let me show you my hade real quick I've not been working on my hade not because I don't want to it is calling to me so bad I want to work on it so bad but I need to do the model stitching, so I'm not letting myself work on the hay because it just takes too much time and it's gonna be here for a very long time, so I'll have time to work on it later. I probably have only stitched 200 stitches. I think I, I'll put a before and after in here. Oh, and here's the, there's what it's gonna look like. Um, can't remember who the designer is. I never can remember. My brain is, you know. So I think I only got like that much in and then I had to stop and start stitching on other things. So probably once market is over, I'll start stitching on this again. But I do love it and it calls to me, so we'll it's not going away forever. It's just going away for a tiny bit. 
let's see. Um, okay, my temperature tree. By Sarah, the Stitch and Mommy. This is on her Etsy shop. I am still missing one color. But here I am. Let's see. Let's get the hair out of my mouth. Um, I'm missing a leaf, I think, right here, right here, and right here. I don't have that color. And I have not finished January yet, and I haven't started on February. I hope y'all can see it. It is looking really weird in the camera. I don't know. This is 28 count vintage country mocha one over one full cross. Looks good back here, but I'm blind, so I can't see it. Okay. Oh, and it has been quite warm here in Virginia, but Frog Watch started February the 1st. Frog Watch is a citizen science thing where you can go out and you listen for the calls of the frogs and toads. You log them into this website. Uh, so the scientists, <laughs> biologists, can um, keep track of the amount of frogs and toads in areas. Like you log where you were, where you buy a pond, a stream, a lake, you log how many you heard, and it depends on, did you hear one? Did you hear a few? Did you hear a whole chorus? Uh, you log the temperature, things like that. You do frog watch. And that started February 1st. Usually we can hear the spring peepers start calling. I've heard them call as early as the second week in February. And it has been so warm here that they might call next week. So, I mean, I do want snow. I don't want winter to go away. Don't get me wrong. I love winter and I am missing the snow so bad, but I live for the frog calls also. Okay, my last, no, second to the last. Uh, I worked on Summer Quilts by The Blue Flower. I'm not going to do the drum. I'm just going to stitch it in a row. I think I'm leaving one quilt out. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see how big it gets. I'm going to put this near my laundry area because I love quilts. I make quilts. And there's my baby dogs. And she's hanging laundry. And I think it's going to be so cute near my laundry area. And here is where I'm at. And it's adorable. Let's see, this is 36 count Helix by Picture This Plus. And I am not using the call for colors, but I, I'm using from my stash, but I am, I'm taking the picture and I'm matching the colors. So, yep, it's so cute. Got a quilt and that chihuahua. And I, I think I'm going to have a before and after this too. Okay. Um, I have a finish. A finish. A finish. From Market 2019. Tanya, the Scarlet House, put out A Perfect World. I fell in love with it. It was my favorite release from Market. I can't wait to see what she's coming out with this year. Market is... so. Oh, somebody asked me what Market was. Um, it is Nashville Needle Market. It happens every year. It's where a lot of the designers put out their new patterns. And the shops can go and purchase them. So new patterns come out and there's my finish. I absolutely love it. I want it on my wall. So my birthday is this month, 
and I asked my husband, well, I told my husband, <laughs> I want this framed for my birthday. I love it so much. I did change the flowers. If you watch my last video and a couple other ones, these were purpley colored and I changed those to blue and I did change a couple of the other flowers to blue. I changed that bird to blue. He is one of this guy and this guy are one over one on 40 count full cross. This is Stars Hollow Blend by R&R, &R, 40 count. And there's a Chihuahua right there. One right there, one right there, and one right there. So that's my finish. I also FFO'd my Sassy Jack's Valentine's exchange piece. Um, I don't have it anymore because I mailed it off, but I took a picture of the very finished piece before I mailed it off. So I will put a picture in right here. of how I fully finished it. And I, I think, when was it? February? I can't, I don't know when they were mailing them back. So when I get my exchange piece back, um, I'll show you that. So, okay, that is all I worked on. Let's see. had some gifts come in the mail. So, um, Diana Zaslow, I can't remember what you, I think your channel name might be just Diana Zaslow. She sent me, and I'm going to show you the pattern because I believe it's old and there's not a picture, but I just want to show you she sent me some toads that are adorable. Code pattern. Sorry, I'm right in front of the window. And a snail. Look how cute. Love that. And I'll link her channel below. And then um, Jackie from Cross My Stitches sent me a pattern with the bugs and frogs and turtles in it. And I love that. And I'll link Jackie below. And Jackie and I are starting a sale of this month. I don't know what it's called. It's a stocking. We're starting another stocking, but I'll talk about that in my next video. Um, I got a big old package from the UK that I have not opened yet because it is a birthday present from my girlfriend, Natalie. She's my pen pal. I haven't even opened the card yet, but she wrapped it all in bug paper. <laughs> so I'm saving it for my birthday. So I haven't opened it yet, Natalie. But thank you. And then Stephanie from Stitch Goes My Heart, Steffi, she sent me a birthday present, an early birthday present, and I love them so much. And I'm already using one, and oh, I should have shown you. It's on one of my projects. So she sent me some of the little ring things, but I'm going to show you what's on them. How do I do this? Let's see. <laughs> okay, there's one. A little frog. And a little frog. And my other one has a little frog on it. And I'm using them, and I love them. Thank you so much, Stephanie. And then, let's see. Okay. 
let me do haul and then I have some things to talk about. All I got in haul is my fabric for the baby it's cold outside sal. You know, um, well, I know everybody already knows and I, I don't wanna talk about it because it really upsets me. Um, but, you know, Leanne from Lost and Flossed, um, Lost and Floss, she passed away and um, we're doing a sal in her memory. So I looked, I ordered the um, pattern from Julie at Gulf Coast Stitches and um, you need to go watch Julie's last video, Gulf Coast Stitches, and I'll try to remember to link her down below, but please go watch her latest video about the sal and um, the patterns and Jin Lee from Corks and Stitches and Beth Twist. And um, so I got the called for fabric for that pattern. Um, the heartstring samplery, baby, it's cold outside. And then I got the pomegranate um, floss for the house. And I've always loved that pattern. So I've always wanted to stitch it anyway. So stitching it in memory of Leanne will be perfect. And I'll probably put um, Leanne's name on it somewhere. Just somehow, you know, just incorporate her name in the pattern. Um, so that was my only haul, but I did purchase the pattern. It just hasn't come here yet. And I did purchase, um, two other patterns from Lindy Stitches. So Stephanie, Lindy Stitches, she has a new floss, floss tube group. And she was, I think the, the sale is still going on. Um, I think it might be through the... 15th. So she's having a little sale in her Etsy shop, but you need to get the code from her floss tube group. And so I ordered a pattern that I've been looking at that I want to start after I finish my Away We Ride by Blackbird Designs, my Dark 13 stitch piece. So I went ahead and ordered that one. I wasn't going to order it until I finished that piece, but since there was a sale, I went ahead and got it. And then another pattern, which is springy and I love, I've, all, I've loved it since she put it out. I think she released it at market last year and I've been wanting that one. So I went ahead and purchased that one, but I will show you those when those arrive. So that's it. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Okay, oh. Um, my trip. Remember I told you I went on a trip last weekend or the weekend before. I can't remember the days run together and I couldn't talk to you about it because it was a surprise and I didn't want the person that we were surprising to know about it. Well, I'll tell you about it real quick. Um, I am still very good friends with my girlfriends from high school. We will all be turning 50 this year. There are five of us. And my girlfriend, Tiffany, turned 50 on January 25th. Her mother contacted all of us secretly through Messenger and said, I wanna surprise Tiffany, can you get down here? She lives in North Carolina. Can you get down here for her birthday? And we were like, heck yeah, absolutely. So I met up with my girlfriend, Missy, who lives about an hour and a half away. She, yeah, south. She lives about an hour and a half away from me south. So got in her car, we drove to Tiffany's. When Tiffany got off work, she had no idea. And all five of us spent the weekend together. And it was, it was absolutely wonderful. And she had no idea and she ugly cried and ugly cried and ugly cried. And we got it all on film and video, um, pictures. Uh, we all went out and got tattoos together. <laughs> um, it was just wonderful. And we're hoping to do it every year now, get together every year. 
So I actually turn 50 next this month. And the baby is Jennifer. She does not turn 50 until November. So um, it's just, it's wonderful. I last the last few years, I would not have been able to travel that far. Um, it did exhaust me. I came home Sunday and I have not been able to leave the house since I got back. Um, it was draining, amazing, but draining and I, I'm paying for it, but I, I wouldn't have changed a thing. I would still, I would still would have gone. Um, so that's about my trip. Oh, I'm going to insert a photo of me and my girlfriends here. And one more thing I want to tell you is, and I'm scared to tell you, is <laughs> I'm not going to stitch con. I had to withdraw. And I'm not going to the dying to stitch retreat. And not because I don't want to go. Um, we need a new roof on the house. Picture here. We've needed a new roof for a couple years and we just need to do it. And so I had to pick and choose where I'm going and what I'm doing. And StitchCon would have been big, a big amount of money that I just don't need to be spending right now because the house needs a roof. And the dying to stitch retreat is just a big amount of money that I don't need to be spending right now. So maybe next year. But I am still doing some stuff. I'm going on a little quilting retreat with my girlfriends in April. Um, which is, I think it's only an hour and a half away. And all of us are cooking, so we don't have to, we're not going out to dinners. Um, we're just staying in a little cottage for, I think, three or four days. And we're just going to be quilting all weekend. And it's like. I could ride my bike there not really but you know um they're taking me to woodlawn the needlework show in woodlawn in march which will be nothing um i am 99 percent sure that i can still do stitch fest this year because stitch fest is only two hours away it's cheap it's my girlfriend shares the room with me and that would be easy. Um, there's a few other things I, that, that I'm doing. So, but I am, I just, so I have this disorder called avoidance personality disorder where I am very scared that people are going to get upset with me and people are mad at me and people hate me and people don't like me. And um, so I have been very, very scared to tell anybody that um, I wasn't going to Stitch Con and I couldn't go to the Dying to Stitch Retreat. I have private messaged people to tell them because I didn't want them to find out on my video because I didn't want them to be mad at me. So please just understand. And I can't help it. It's my brain telling me negative crap. So um, that's it, I think. Oh, I, I did though for, for 2021. So wait, this year's 2020. Yes. For 2021, I did register for stitch away. I put my, I put the registration, the like the deposit down and you can make payments all year. So once that dumb roof is done, 
I'll be making more payments. So next January, I get to go to Stitch Away and I get to meet my Jen Spoon Rooney Stitcher and Gina hanging by a thread. And I'm so excited about that. Oh, and Steph and Pam and all of them. So I get, yeah, that's something to look forward to too. So, okay guys, I hope that's it. I'm gonna go take a nap and work on my model stitch. And I love you, goodbye.